Hello and welcome to the world of EDC. My name's Jeff and today we're going to be doing an open tag that I hope everyone that sees this video gets involved with. Even if you don't have a YouTube channel, uh, you know, maybe do an Instagram post and you can uh, tag me in it and, you know, if there's enough of you, maybe I might go through your guys' uh, list of knives that uh, you guys posted to Insta Instagram or if you have a channel, I'm definitely uh, very interested to see what you guys have on this list. So let's get into it. First, I want to talk about this knife that you guys are looking at right here. This is the Yojimbo 2, but more importantly, this is the Yojimbo 2 in 20 CV with the carbon fiber. This knife is currently discontinued, and I actually was able to get my hands on one on eBay. Uh, the company is out of Wyoming. They sent it to me. I got it two days earlier than I expected, and I didn't have to pay an arm and a leg for it. So if you guys are interested in one of these, I think that the, the company has three more of them. Just search this knife on eBay, and it was going for right around $230. And so um, if you guys, if anybody's interested in one and they want to make sure they're getting it from the company that I got it from, uh, you can definitely comment down below and I'll let you know. I didn't look into the company's name or anything. Um, for the sake of you guys but if you guys do want to get one uh i think he has like two or three more the the company not just he the company has two or three more um from the last time i saw when i ordered this one and this is a knife that was on my oh crap i missed it list you know knives that got away and that's the open tag so that's like a, the long way around to say this the open tag is the knives that got away and so I'm going to go through uh, three knives. I'll roll in pictures of the three that got away for me. Obviously, I don't have them or they wouldn't be the knives that got away. But luckily, this knife doesn't have to be on that list anymore. So moving on to the pictures, um, the first one is the uh, Spyderco Domino. Now, I'm sure you can find these around, but... From what I've found and the little bit of research that I've done to try to find one, they're just really expensive on the, you know, third party market, I guess, you know, the second hand, you know, Ebays and whatever else. Everybody knows that they're, you know, they don't come around often. I don't think that they've done a run on them for a while. Um, I don't necessarily follow it uh, very closely. I'm sure somebody out there could tell me, oh, they do a run every once in a while, whatever else. But as far as like my research into it every once in a while when I'm looking through old knives, uh, knives that I'd love to have. Dom the Domino always comes up. It just looks like a really an awesome knife. I've watched reviews on it. People love it and, and you know, uh, just seeing from the mountaintop about that knife. So I would really love to get one of those into my collection. The next one is going to be the Benchmade Bug Out in 20 CV with the Jade Scales. I love this knife. It's just, you know, it's everything that the Bug Out uh, should be for me because I don't really like uh, S30V and 20CV is a much more preferred steel for me. I really do uh, like 20CV. Um, I don't know that there are a lot of people out there that don't like 20CV and I was watching them when they had them in November of uh, 2019 but that was when my wedding was going on and I just... I couldn't pull the trigger. I thought that maybe I might get lucky and get one when I got back. I, I wanted to be safe with money and all that stuff. And they only did a run of 2,000 of them. I've seen a couple of them on Blade Forums and whatnot going for $300 instead of the $200 that they were going for when they were out. I really wish I would have, you know, just done it. You know, money wasn't as tight for the wedding as, you know, I originally thought. So I could have done it and been just fine, um, you know the wife uh, would have liked that too much but uh you know i i held off to do the responsible thing and then i missed out and now they're really hard to find every time i see one on blade forums uh i'm always like a day late and a dollar short and i don't really feel like paying three hundred dollars for a two hundred dollar knife especially considering that i think that the the, the bug out such a popular knife that they're going to do some kind of uh run you know with better steels uh in the near future i would hope um and so maybe I'll be maybe they'll do a run in S35VN or something other than S30V. Not to not you know I do have basically every bug out in S30V anyways, but you know my dream bug out is either the gold class, which I'm never gonna spend the 750 on myself. Maybe the wife might do it for me, <laughs> but I'm not gonna do it for myself. I just feel like that's a little bit too selfish. Um, 
I'd give it as a gift, but I wouldn't buy it for myself if that tells you what kind of person I try to be. But anyways, um, so that's that's one of the other knives. And then the last one is actually a knife that the, the SOG Blink. I actually had two of these at one point. Uh, lost one. Well, I gave one away, and then I lost the replacement for it. And it still hurts my soul that I don't have that knife anymore. And I can't find one anywhere. And... Uh, Birdshot, uh, uh, Frankie has one and she's like, every time she whips it out, every time I've seen her whip it out, she, I'm not selling this knife, don't ask. And it's like, I can't blame you. I really, I just can't blame you. It's such a great knife. It's just a perfect small little auto knife. It, it's, it's spring assisted and it's one of the, between that and the oh so sweet and a couple of other ones, it just needs to be spring assisted and it's so awesome it's like fidget friendly it's just an awesome knife if you guys have one i'd definitely love to get one if you want to sell it to me for a decent price but i'm not going to overpay that's the you know moral of my collection co collection is is that i don't like paying overpaying for a knife i just rather look at it from afar and and be jealous than pay you know an arm and a leg for a knife that doesn't need to be that expensive so i just hope that one day sog says you know what let's just do kind of a nostalgia run on them and I, I might be able to get one that way. Um, but those are my three. There's plenty of others. I could have probably done an hour long video. Um, but those are the three that got away from me that are like my most dear. You know, I would really love to have those three. Again, there's many, many others, but I just wanted to limit it uh, to those three. So if you guys are interested, um, you know, my Instagram is always in the description if you want to get on Instagram. And if you don't have a, a channel and you just want to post a couple of pictures, and if enough of you do it, maybe I'll do a video of just talking about the knives that got away and how I feel about those on your guys' end. If you have a channel, definitely feel free to do this open tag. I think it's a great tag that anybody can relate to. Um, and so, yeah, like the video, share it, um, do whatever you will on your end. I really do appreciate you watching and I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next one.